Hey y'all, it is about 1 a.m. and I am here thinking about my mother. Um, and I just wanted to share with you what God is showing me as I am thinking about my mother who passed on 15 years ago um, and what the death of my mother taught me um, and what I learned from it over the years. And I believe that this is a message the Lord wants the overworkers, the too much doers, the beast molders to get. Um, and as I'm speaking to myself, the Holy Spirit began to speak through my tongue and say, Knowing one's limits is not a weakness. Knowing one's limits is being aware of the hedge of protection. Where one territory starts somewhere and ends somewhere. And at that end point, at that hedge, at that fence off point, beyond that point, it's the danger zone. A limit is there to signal to you beyond this point, you're entering into the danger zone. A limit is there to protect you from going into the danger zone and enduring the dangers of the danger zone. Because the dangers of the danger zone will tear you down, will get their teeth in you and tear you up you will burn out you will have to uh, be hospitalized you will get a heart attack and you're young you will get some strange disease that signals that you are 90 but you happen to be 32 um, you will harm yourself i'm keeping that in mind as I'm thinking about my mother. And for those that are hard workers beyond the hedge, hard workers way into the danger zone, it's glorified, it's called beast mode. I believe the Lord is saying, this is all not necessary. This is all not necessary. If there has to be planting, waiting for the rain, if there has to be seed, time, and harvest, then there has to be work, rest, and enjoyment. There has to be balance. Save yourself. Don't kill yourself. Do not go beyond the hedge. The hedge of your limits is not about your weaknesses. It's about protecting you and how you have been created. It's a signal to you about not going beyond a certain point. Because if you do, you'll get hurt. Protect your life force. What's the use of going so hard that you're in dysfunction, that you're obnoxious, that you're a hurtful kind of person, that you're a mean kind of person, that you don't have time to spend with God. You don't have time to make friends. You don't have time to spend with your loved ones. You don't have time for the things that pour and fill up your cup. What's the point? And this is why people get wealthy. This is why people get status and they're acting a fool and they're not satisfied. And they're empty inside 
because in order to be able to get all those things, they went into the danger zone and witnessed and endured such an imbalance of living life that they lost the core of themselves. There's a time to work. There's a time to rest. There's a time to enjoy and take it all in. Balance. Heed. Stay blessed and be blessed. I'll talk to you next time.